Hey everybody, Kina here. Welcome to my fancy new channel. I've been getting very much into watercolor lately, and I thought that making a channel might be a decent way to keep myself on a consistent schedule with my practice. So considering I'm hoping at least to keep a decently regular update schedule with this, but I'm not sure exactly how regular that's gonna be yet. But we'll see where it goes. So, I just got home from school for the year. Uh, very stressful semester. <laughs> and, uh, I've been very much itching to paint for the last couple of weeks that I've been up there. I had just bought a bunch of new brushes and miscellaneous supplies. It was kind of awesome. I got it for like $15 when it was supposed to be 70 It was great. The joys of sales and clearance. So, I got home and I was like, alright, I really want to get to work with this stuff because I had been messing with it a little bit up at school, but I hadn't done any actual pieces yet. It was just kind of doodling around in my sketchbook in the land of trash because fandom is a thing. Oh god, why? Okay, anyways, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, this little piece is the first thing I've really done artistically since I got home. Which, granted, wasn't all that long ago. I've been home for four days, maybe? Yeah, and the day I'm recording the audio for this is like two days after I had started working on the piece itself, so... Came back at it pretty quick. I was rather excited to get to work on this stuff. Overall, with the piece itself, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out in the end. I actually, um, when I was trying to come up with something to paint, I was like, hmm, I really don't have any particular inspiration at the moment, and I was going through the internet like, hmm, what could I draw? Is anything here really inspiring to me? And nothing came to mind, so I posted on Facebook like, hey guys, someone come up with something for me to paint, because I have no idea what to do. And one of my friends was like, paint a mouse! And then I also, um... I poked over to the 52-week illustration challenge page because I'm in that, though I don't actually post much because I haven't had time to do anything yet. Um, but I popped over there and I was like, all right, so the current theme is mirrors, but next week is collections. And that sounds like a lot of fun to do with the mouse. Maybe like a little mouse that just goes out and collects scraps of fabric and sews them into tiny mouse clothes. And that's exactly what I did. Granted, I was originally hoping to have like a sewing machine in the background so it would be more obvious that she actually sews the fabric and that she's not just doing laundry or something, but I think it worked out nicely in the end. So unfortunately, the paint that I'm working with I don't really think is the best. The It all came from the same set by uh, Lo Cornell from the looks of it, and the paint just... It's really inconsistent on quality. Like, some of the paint's really shiny for some reason. The brown seems to be really, really matte in comparison. I've done a couple of pieces with this thing of brown, and it just it never quite looks right to me. But, um, as I've... Watercolor's a pretty, pretty new thing for me. I've only just really gotten into it within the last couple of years. Actually, more like the last year in and of itself. But, um, so I was like, all right, I want to try out some liquid watercolors for the first time. And I got these, and they've suited my purposes. They're just not the best of quality. <laughs> so, you know those challenges where it's like, poor art supplies challenge? That's like me every day, and I cry. <laughs> Not really, but it's a little on the upsetting side. So I actually, I had a lot of trouble trying to come up with what I was going to do for the fabric. I was, originally I was just kind of like, oh yeah, this will all be easy, and my computer just made a noise, I apologize. 
but I was originally like, yeah, this will all be great and easy and simple, no problem. And then I was like, wait a second. Lots of fabric. Lots of different kinds of fabric. Lots of patterns. This is more complicated than I had expected. But in the end, it worked out pretty well, I'd say. Although I did have a number of issues like, oh god, how many colors do I need? Just how bright do I want each color to be? Ah, panic. <laughs> yeah, when push comes to shove, it turned out pretty well in my opinion. Though a few colors ended up brighter than I wanted them to be, but it still worked out. The piece in the end kind of flows together really nicely. It did actually end up, you can't really tell right now because it, you don't really notice it much until the background is added, but um, it ended up a lot brighter than I had anticipated. I was really originally going for a very, um, like a really dark kind of setting with almost like a haze over it. There we go, there's some background. Because what it's supposed to be is she's supposed to keep her little fabric scrap collection inside um, like a, what would you call that? Just a hole in a tree? Something like that, just towards the trunk, or the base of the trunk. So it was originally supposed to be like a really, really dark kind of situation, but I like the way it turned out in the end. It's got kind of an idea of a really bright light source coming from the top, so who knows, maybe it's like a stump with a decent sized hole cut out of the top. I'm really happy with where the whole thing came out though. I'm not really especially experienced with shading with watercolor. I do a lot of um, sketching in digital art and so... I know what I'm doing from the digital art side of things, but I haven't experienced doing it with paint much, so while I'm shading here, I'm just kind of like, how am I going to do this? I hope this is going to turn out okay. <laughs> and I went back over with a little bit of ink, and that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it, and if you could leave a like or a comment, I would appreciate knowing that people enjoy this stuff, <laughs> and that it's not just me rambling for no good reason as I paint. So yeah, thanks guys, and see you in the next video.